Following a recent memorandum circular issued by the Civil Service Commission, all government agencies are encouraged to adopt a four-day workweek scheme. Under the new scheme, government employees will now have to render 10 hours each day from Tuesday to Friday, 8 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the evening. Agencies may also opt for a Monday to Thursday schedule. The reasons, according to CSC, include lessening the traffic volume in Metro Manila, increase employee efficiency and performance, promote work-life balance among employees, and enhance employee morale. But some labor groups slam the four-day work week scheme because it allegedly runs counter to the country's productivity. It would also mean longer hours for employees at work, defeating the very purpose of the memorandum. Welcome to Opposing Views, a hard, straightforward discussion of today's most pressing issues. Proponents of the four-day work week scheme say that shorter work week means an increase in overall life satisfaction for the laborers. But the other side says it won't make a dent and will affect the delivery of services. So let's weigh in tonight. Our question, are you in favor of the Civil Service Commission's four-day workweek policy? Good evening, I'm Rod Depomuceno, and this is Opposing Views. All right, joining us tonight in our discussion is Assistant Commissioner for Legal Affairs, Attorney Ariel Ronquillo of the Civil Service Commission. Good evening, ASCOM. Uh, Ariel. Yeah, good evening, uh, Attorney Rod. Yes, uh, can you give us uh, your quick thoughts uh, on this uh, policy, this four day uh, work week? Well, uh, the Civil Service Commission uh, is actually uh, in the process of empowering our different agencies of the government in Metro Manila to decide whether they will uh, adopt this four-day work, 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 work week scheme mm -hmm. that we are uh, proposing. Uh, this is meant to help in the easing of traffic congestion within Metro Manila mm -hmm. and to promote work-life balance uh, for our government employees. Uh, we believe that uh, with the adoption of the four-day work, work week uh, scheme, uh, our people in uh, government will have uh, more time uh, with their family because that means uh, uh, three more days uh, of uh, being with their family instead of uh, work uh, without uh, reducing their productivity because uh, we also protect the 40 hours a week uh, that is mandated by our law. And also, uh, we, also uh, we see to it that the adoption of the four-day wor work week scheme will not uh, prejudice the public because we will continue to monitor whether the adoption of the scheme is really good for the uh, public or not. If it is uh, found out that it's not uh, working very well for the benefit of the public, then uh, we can tell the agency to stop. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, this is not an imposition. Uh, this is a blanket authority so that agencies can decide for themselves whether they will adopt it or not. Right. If they think it will not work for them, then, then it's up to them. They will not adopt it. But if they believe uh, they are ready to implement it and that uh, they will be more effective when they implement it, then go ahead. We have given them the blanket authority, but bearing in mind that the Civil Service Commission, uh, Commission will continue to monitor them and will tell them to stop uh, if it is not serving the purpose. All right. Thank you so much, ASCOM. Uh, Ariel, uh, on the opposing side is the national president of the Confederation for Unity and Advancement of Government Employees, or Courage, uh, Ferdinand Gaite. Good evening, Ferdinand. Uh, Ferdi. Uh, good evening, uh, Attorney Rod. Uh, good evening, kay, um, ating ASEC uh, Alex ng mm -hmm. CSC. Now, what, what are your thoughts on this, itong uh, uh, four-day work week uh, uh, na pinapropose uh, ni, uh, ng CSC? Well, this is not a new uh, proposal or plan. Uh, mm -hmm. Previously, this was already implemented but under a different uh, justification, uh, if I remember it right, uh, during the previous administration, uh, this was uh, proposed uh, a scheme supposedly to cut down on electrical consumption, okay. which we, again before uh, we already criticized this as a, a very um, half-baked uh, concept or idea, because the 
the the concept was uh, it was a, the, the concept is a cons, uh, compressed work week mm -hmm. schedule instead of limang araw apat na araw mm -hmm. but you do not reduce the number of working hours in the office mm -hmm. uh, previously it was uh, five days but it, working eight. on an eight hour schedule mm -hmm. but now it's a four day work week but within a 10 hour work schedule mm -hmm. meaning it's a total of 40 hours mm -hmm. doon pa lamang kin criticize namin na half half baked kasi or illogical because you do not reduce the consumption of electricity, etc., mm -hmm. of the offices, you would still be operating on a 40-day work week. Right. So, sabi nila, makakatipid daw yung mga empleyado kasi hindi na daw siya una mamasahe at mm -hmm. hindi siya kakain. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, hindi naman, kahit mm -hmm. yung, yung fifth day na libre niya, kakain pa rin siya. Mm -hmm. But baka sa bahay na lang. Right. But mm -hmm. now, the, the proposal is uh, supposed to address the problem of traffic, mm -hmm. which is yeah, kalbaryo ng bawat uh, mm -hmm. Pilipino ngayon dito sa Metro Manila. But we still believe hindi masyado malaking impact dito. Kasi right now, there is no uh, empirical data to show how many government employees actually own their own vehicles, which will be reduced once uh, compressed work week is implemented. Secondly, I think the other concept is the number of uh, government uh, vehicles, mm. which are used also by the various government offices. Right. And if we can have an, uh, an empirical data to show that uh, ito mawawala sa kalsada kapag ano, then possible, no? But right now, I don't think it will really have a big dent. Mm. Um, I think the may mga justifications regarding work-life balance, we don't think it will really uh, have a, a, a great benefit right. because you will be, what? You'll be 15 hours out of uh, that thing. Yeah. Uh, Sorry to cut you off. Uh, uh, okay, we, we'll have to cut you off because <laughs> we're already going to the debate points now. So, but that's, you made your point. So uh, the idea was to summarize your, your ideas. All right. Um, so that's our discussion for today, you know, for okay. the four-day work week. So let's, let's start off uh, with the um, first question. Um, will this four-day work week, uh, because I think the premise is that we're having a lot of traffic uh, and mm -hmm. we're all suffering from that. And we're all looking for solutions. You know? um, and I think this is one of the solutions that's being pro offered by the CSC. You know? um, it supposedly to lessen the traffic, and you were pointing it out, yeah, Ferdy. So again, sorry to cut you off on that because we we are gonna uh, discuss that uh, lengthily now. Um, do you think, uh, Ascom uh, Ariel, that uh, this four-day work week will indeed lessen the traffic volume? Uh, as Ferdy has already pointed out, no? there hasn't been no uh, any empirical research whether certain cars, as a government cars, uh, will be lessened or government employees who own cars uh, will really not use their cars on Friday. Uh, or on the on that fifth day, no? Um, okay. Do you think that uh, has there been research, for example, uh, well, that, that it, it will indeed lessen the uh, traffic? Okay, Rod. Uh, in the first place, we're not guaranteeing that uh, this will really reduce uh, the traffic congestion within Metro Manila. What we're saying is that somehow it will help, and that uh, the enactment of this uh, policy will uh, at least uh, provide an environment where. Uh, the employees themselves, who are mostly caught in these traffic jams, mm -hmm. uh, will be given a relief, at least uh, maybe for one day, that they will not be commuting and that they will mm -hmm. just be staying at in home. In other words, one day at least that they don't have to commute. Right? Yes. So, yeah. Ibig sabihin, mm -hmm. hindi lang, kasi hindi natin pwedeng garantiyan na mawawala yung traffic just because yeah. uh, isang araw walang Has there been paso. preliminary research, for example, maybe a sample, uh, sample size or maybe research no, that you conducted with one office na how many of you will not use your, your cars or your vehicles uh, if we have this four-day work week? Meron bang ganun, well, informal uh, well, research? Ang, ang katotohanan yan, walang ganong research na ginawa. Ang ginawa ay survey. Survey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sa mga agencies kung pabor sila dito o hindi. At yeah. uh, uh, sa pagsagot naman kasi nung mga tanong na ginawa namin, isinaalang-alang na yun. Uh, makakatulong ba sa inyo? Kung, uh, and so far, the overwhelming uh, result of that survey is Yes, uh, I think around 90% of all the respondents said, uh, okay. uh, yes, they are in favor of in the favor of four day work week. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, now, uh, Ferdi, now let's go back to what you were driving at. No? Uh, sorry for the pun, drive, drive <laughs> and, uh, and cars. No? Uh, you're saying that this will not necessarily lessen the number of cars in, uh, on the road. Uh, why do you say that? Uh, tama yun, no? kasi mas maraming, I would believe, no? mas maraming kawani, hindi naman malalaki ang sahod ng mga ito, nagko-commute. They use the usual uh, public utility vehicles. So, there will be no reduction because you still be, the number of public utility vehicles, whether the employees will go to the office or not, mm -hmm. will remain the same. No? Mm -hmm. uh, tapos, yung may mga 
uh, government vehicles din, yeah. well, mababawasan siguro kasi wala nga office. Uh, no. Pero I think may magandang point sa Indonesia, yung work-life balance. No? Yeah. Uh, supposedly, there will be one day free. But your, off, your uh, regular days will be extended. No? Mm -hmm. uh, such that, uh, an example, Uh, papasok ko, kasi instead of dati 8 to 5, magiging 8, 8 to 7, 7. 8 a.m. Yeah. to 7. Yeah, ma-extend yung hours mo. Yung hours. Oh. May, may imagine, uh, papasok sa office, ako ang normal kong um, allowance for travel now is anywhere from an hour and a half to two, two hours. hours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meaning, alas 6 pa lang maalis ka sa bahay, mm -hmm. alas 8 sa office ka, dating 5 o'clock, mga 7 o'clock na sa bahay ka. Mm -hmm. Now, with the other two hours, ano, you'll be spending, what, 15 hours a day on the road. On the road, yeah. With the, with the 10 hour So by the time you get home, the, the kids are probably asleep or? Wala na rin. Oh. Oh. So nag-suffer nag rin yung time naman na uh, may pasok ka. No? Mm -hmm. uh, sabi nila, hindi ba isang araw, eh, nasa, 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 nasa sa school naman school yung, yung anak ko, di ba makikita. Oh. No? Unless may four, may four day and, ano rin sa uh, mga schools. <laughs> uh -oh. And there's still no guarantee that um, the, the employees who are now home will not be traveling or using their... Uh, the vehicles, baka lumabas oh, sila. Or, oh, ano. kasi, But yun nga, yung point ni ASCOM the, the, is that the they're not compelled. Mm. They're not required. They can stay home and... Ano. Uh, well, so, that, yun na nga yung point din. Pero ang isang effect that we've raised this is the effect on also the services. Uh, government offices are not islands in a, in a, ano, no? in, mm. a, in a large sea. They, they do coordinate with other offices. They need the transactions of one office to the mm -hmm. other. What will happen? By the way, the, uh, the schedule, I believe, as, as I understand the proposal, is that either you leave Monday off or Friday off. Mm -hmm. So, nasa ano yeah. ba yan? No? So, ang laking disruption yan ng yeah. mga continuity. Con confusion, you mean? Confusion and continuity of service because now, you would have to contend with, ano ba schedule nitong office ito? Monday to Thursday okay, ba? Okay, para coordinate with this office bilang, ay, naku, ano para sila? Oh, Naka-off sila ngayon. Na, oh. ano, no, the, even the access of the, the public in, in such services will also be limited. Okay, that, okay uh, that's an interesting point. Uh, ask them, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yung, yeah. yung, uh, yeah, one, it doesn't really promote work-life balance because of that extended time. And secondly, that confusion of the uh, coordination among uh, okay. government offices. Isa-isahin natin, ano? Mm. Uh, yung daily ano, uh, pagkocommute. Uh, sa totoo lang, sa regular na schedule natin, umuwi tayo ng 5 o'clock. Yung mga umuwi ng 5 o'clock, hindi naman nakaka-uwi ng bahay ng ano eh, after 2 hours. Oh. Yeah, alam mo kung bakit? Because they're stuck in traffic. Pag umuwi ka ng 5 o'clock, rush hour yan eh. Hmm. Oh, kaya yung pag uwi mo pa lang, ano na, uh, problema na sa'yo. Dahil uh, matagal kang nasa daan, naghihintay kang umusad yung sinasakyan mo kasi nasa traffic ka. At the same time, pagod ka rin, di ba? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, with the adoption of this 40 work week scheme, kung aalis ka ng 7 o'clock, tapos na i-rush hour, Hopefully, no, yeah, medyo, less yeah, medyo mas mabilis oh. na yun. So, Hopefully. Pag, yeah, pag, pag, <laughs> uwi, pag uwi mo sa bahay, you will have... Ako, uh, maybe, experience ko rin, 7 o'clock rin. 7 o'clock, masama pa rin. Or it's probably even worse pag 7 o'clock. No? But uh, again, well, that's my... It, that's not always the case. Mas yeah. masama pag ano, pag pag uwi at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Alright, uh, that's okay. an interesting point. Uh, so, I ask him, uh, that's an interesting okay. point. Okay. But unfortunately, we'll, uh, we'll need to take a short break. Okay. So, uh, we'll continue on our discussion. No? Meanwhile, we invite you to weigh in via Facebook at facebook.com slash opposing views on 9TV or tweet your thoughts at opposing underscore views. Use the hashtag OV4DayWork. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay lang din po kasi nag stay rin naman kami talagang ano lampas sa oras. Maalis kami dito. Talagang umaalis kami dito ma'am ng mga 7 or 7.30. Kahit na hindi 4-day work week pa kasi iniiwasan na namin yung traffic. Kasi kung aalis kami ng 5 o'clock, ano, mas ma-traffic, mas mahaba ang oras namin sa biyahe. Um, as to, I like it. Well, it was uh, implemented naman nga daw to... Uh, yeah, yeah, for the traffic. So, I think for some agencies, it would be okay. But unlike sa ibang agencies like us, which we don't have frontline agent uh, services, 
na dahil nandito tayo nga sa media ng government na 24-7 tayo, siguro we need to study pa a little bit more kung applicable ba yon dito sa ahensya natin. As to it being helpful, definitely it would be helpful siguro sa ibang agency. It would this traffic definitely. So, yun siguro yun. Welcome back. You're still watching Opposing Views. I'm Rod Depomoceno. And uh, we have with us Attorney Ariel Ronquillo of the Civil Service Commission and the President of Courage, Ferdinand Gaite. Now, our debate question tonight, are you in favor of the Civil Service Commission's four-day work week policy? So, uh, before we took a break, uh, ASCOM, you were making that point. Uh, at, uh, you know, at 7 o'clock, the traffic is probably less mm. and, and therefore, in all likelihood, they'll probably get to yeah. get home earlier. No? Uh, yeah. You were trying to uh, move on to the next point. In next point, you know, I, said, I think it was the work-life balance yeah. argument. No? Yeah, kasi uh, kanina nasabi, nasabi nung kasama natin, si Ferdy, mm -hmm. na kapag uh, Friday, hindi rin daw, uh, wala rin daw assurance na mananatili sa bahay yung government employee because chances are uh, he will still use his car and uh, go out. Uh, sa totoo lang, kapag nangyari yun on a Friday na walang pasok, at least at that point, he's already bonding with, with his family. Okay, at uh, yun nga, inuumpisahan na natin yung work-life balance. Pero yung point ni Ferdy nga, uh, Ascom, is that uh, the kids are in school you know, normally on, on Friday. So, yeah, pwede niyang sunduin. Maski, hmm. maski siya na mismo yung sumundo, o kaya hihintayin niya na lang yung pagdating. Siguro for the kids, mas masayang isipin na pagdating nila sa bahay, nandun na yung kanilang oh. parents at oh. nag sa kanila. Alright. Now, uh, second point, yung uh, baka daw magkaroon naman ng kaguluhan in terms of coordination, uh, I think the, the circular has already has provided all the necessary safeguards to ensure that the public service will not be prejudiced. No? Meron kaming apat na requirements. At bukod doon, kapag nagbigay ka ng notice, uh, meron ding uh, requirement na ano, you have to give ample uh, dissemination of the schedules that you will adapt so that the public as well as other agencies that are transacting with you will know mm -hmm. what kind of a schedule uh, yeah, will so you be adapting no? yeah. so that they will be uh, no, properly So that's a good guided. point. So at least okay. they, they will be informed. So for the, there will be naman, uh, circulars and I guess um, um, memos to all government offices as to who have selected. Uh, no. Now, ask them, ito ba, if, you chose, if you chose already, let's say Monday to Thursday or you choose Tuesday to Friday, you can't change basta basta. Meaning, you, when you choose, you choose. Ganun ba yan? Yeah, kasi doon sa circular, you either choose uh, Monday to uh -huh. Thursday. Or you can't flip-flop per month. You can't flip-flop per, yeah. per month. All right. So, if that's the case, uh, so there's a little bit of permanence for these. So, um, a little bit of permanence. Can, yes, I, can I correct that? Actually, um, pwedeng baguhin yun, basta oh, i-notify lang kami. Notify lang. Yeah, oh, kasi so, yeah. in fact, sinasabi nga namin sa agencies, although this is a blanket authority, hindi ibig sabihin na forever yan. No? Uh, we'll still be monitoring them. And if we find out that uh, the adoption of that scheme mm -hmm. is not uh, beneficial to the public, then we can tell them to stop. Yeah, okay. We can tell them to, uh, uh, to hold not, on, to, not to pursue to it anymore it. because mm -hmm. it's not doing good to right. the public service. Um, Ferdy, I have a quick question now. Given the requirements mentioned by the CSE, may mga requirements ang uh, Civil Service Commission. Uh, are, do you think our government agencies are ready for an implement implementation like this? So well, may mga requirements of website and mm -hmm. mga 24-hour yeah. ano, no, call... Agents, front line. Uh, well, front uh, line. kung sa website, website lang, marami, no? Meron na mga government agencies, meron mm -hmm. na sariling website. But most are static. These are not the dynamic kind of uh, websites mm -hmm. wherein you can online uh, access uh, data information and application and processing, yeah. no? Mm -hmm. So, medyo backward pa. Most mm -hmm. of these... So, you think uh, the government's not ready pa? Definitely. Oh. Marami mm -hmm. pang, uh, no, it's more paper processing. You have to personally be... Uh, uh, in front of these uh, of offices mm -hmm. before you can transact with uh, this government. But kung sinasabing data lamang, uh, a website is a website, uh, uh, na, unless it's really interactive, it's uh, dynamic in the sense that uh, an ordinary uh, uh, member of the public may, may obtain the required services from such uh, All right. Ask them, you think the government uh, agencies are ready? Uh, sure. uh, may mga certain requirements kayo, di ba? What, uh, right. Maybe you can... Uh, bring forward, uh, tell our viewers, ano yung mga requirements, requirements before the office can actually apply for this 4-day work week? Well, uh, they, have, uh, they have to have frontline services which uh, can be accessed online. Mm. Then there should be a PABX or call center system which mm. can be diverted to the officer of the day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that uh, one-stop shop, one shop where all the transactions can be done. And of course, a database on the, the agency's 
uh, records about the employee tardiness, the mm. uh, performance, the efficiency, the effectiveness. So, so kailangan yung mga requirements na yan before they, that particular government office can well, apply? Well, kailangan yung mga requirements na yan so that uh, they can validly implement the, the scheme. Mm -hmm. Now, ngayon, uh, dahil blanket authority nga yung binigay namin, uh, they can just notify us and then... Um, 15 days, uh, mm -hmm. kailangang maharaan for purposes of dissemination before they can implement. Ah, okay. Pero nagmo-monitor kami. Monitor. Kung so, they, there's a 15-day notice before yes. they implement? All right. Ngayon, kung halimbawa sa monitoring namin, lumalabas, hindi pala nila nami-meet yung any of the requirements. We can tell them to You can stop. suspend it. All right. We now, will revoke it. If, um, will it uh, make a dent? In, in your mind, uh, mm -hmm. ASCOM, will it make a dent if if it's voluntary, because this is voluntary, right? It's a blanket it's, authority. It's voluntary, it's, voluntary, it's not so, an imposition. Yeah. Yes. You think it'll make a dent? You think most of the officers will, will go for it? Yeah. I mean, I have a list here. I have a list of uh, approved wor four-day work week. No? You have municipality of Silang Cavite, so kasama yung mga LGUs, no? Yeah. Uh, um, MMDA, uh, mm -hmm. the Tarlac State University, uh, no? So, uh, may I correct? No, yung yeah. listahan na hawak mo, yan yung nag implement na, no? Ah, okay. Mas, maski, outside, uh, maski outside Metro Manila. I see. Be, okay. Even before we issue this. Ah, uh, all right. Okay. okay. At uh, so far, yung feedback galing sa kanila is that it's okay. It's quite good. So okay, you, you ngayon, think though that uh, the fact that it's voluntary, do you think there will be a dent? I think uh, no, uh, that's the better arrangement. Kasi mm -hmm. ang mga agencies mismo ang, uh, are in a better position to determine if they are ready to adopt the four-day work weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hindi kami. They just have to notify us mm -hmm. and okay. that we will monitor them. And so far in your experience, has this caused any chaos in terms of well, in fact, interagency uh, uh, coordination? In fact, all the, all the feedbacks that we're getting are favorable. Mm -hmm. uh, coming from all those agencies that have so far adapted the four-day work week. So for the, in your, sa mga members yun, encourage, ano yung mga narinig mo? I mean, so far, kasi it, it, seems, it seems to me that at least what CS, the CSC is getting is that it's an overwhelming yes, no? That parang most of the employees are for it. Sa mga members yun ba, ano yung feeling niya? Do you think that there, some are, are for it and some are against it? And, What's the percentage? Uh, well, totoo naman. Meron naman. Ano? May mm. nag-sumasang-ayon. Uh, But ang isang nakikita nila yung malaking disruption ng routine, mm. ng schedules na um, for the longest time ay uh, ina-adopt. So, sabi nga nila, may effect ito sa kanila bilang mga empleyado. May effect rin ito sa services. Mm. Kasi the public has been uh, conditioned mm -hmm. to understand na ganito yung schedule ng mga offices. Yeah. So, meron, no? meron namang ilan. Pero I believe, mas marami pa rin ang naniwala na mas malaking disruption to. Ito nga yung point namin. Eh, no? uh, right now, they, the, the government, especially MMDA, uh, especially in Metro Manila, uh, we believe that the, the incompetence of the government in addressing the traffic, they, they are tra trying to transfer the problem to, mm. the, to the people, the people and so, yeah. to the workers. No? Rather than so, finding a solution. That's right. No? Uh, oh. It's like, uh, I'd like to give an example, the uh, traffic along uh, Katipunan Road. Uh, before, there was a U-turn. Oh, that was the experiment. No, let's take out the, uh, no, the, now let's put back the traffic lights. Then recently, no, we will uh, turn off the traffic lights because the sequencing or the synchronization of the lights do not jive with the, jive with the, the traffic. traffic. Oh. So right now, I just passed by. There will be times that the traffic would be bad or humongous and oh. really bad. No? So the oh. point is, uh, ang hirap kasi mag-experiment sa mga na mga ganitong na mga ganitong mga schemes na hindi inaral ano ba yung, any extent ano yung impact no and at the point uh, para nakikita na namin oh, let's just make a let's do something just just to show that we're doing something regardless mm -hmm. whether the impact will benefit the, the people the the employees or But, not. But uh, meron na daw ano eh? Meron na mga, mga Actually, government uh, agencies na... Uh, well, ang sinabi kasi si Lang and Tarlac, these are non-traffic areas. <laughs> uh, meaning, uh, ano, no? There are more. Uh, there are more. Uh, MMD, I think MMDA has also implemented that, right? Uh, yeah. MMDA also. As a matter of fact, there will be agencies that cannot implement that. And MMDA is probably one of them. Uh, an example is the Department of Education. Mm. Uh, the employees in the Department of Education have a schedule for the, the, the students, no? Mm. At yung oras nila maapektuhan. It has, to, uh, it has to be mirroring the, mga, hindi mo the schedule of the schools. Oh, hindi mo magalaw yun. Sa mga hospital, they uh, have a 24-hour schedule. Sa yeah, so DSWD, ganun din. Mm. So, isa, ganun, ang, ganun ang point, how many will be impacted? How many will fit with the, with the, with the compressed work week schedule? Wherein, papano yung mga 24-hour operations right. or yung mga malaking disruption. Okay, Point taken yun. But uh, let's go to productivity. No? Um, because yeah. we, we need to tackle a number of issues here. No? Yung, the argument ASCOM on 
employees becoming less productive because it's a 10-hour workday mm. nga, as mentioned uh, by Ferdy, hindi machines yan, no? na parang consistent yung okay. ano nila. No? Uh, there, may, minsan may, I, I call it personally, I call it the, the law of diminishing returns. After a while, <laughs> after a while, talagang even on your ninth, tenth hour, minsan nga, the eighth hour na, pagod ka na. So how do you address that? Do you, do you think by doing this, you were, you were, were maximizing the productivity of the employees, you think? Well, uh, unang-una, we're not changing the targets. No? Kung ano yung targets ng agency uh, before the adoption of the scheme, yeah. uh, it's the same targets that they have to achieve. Yeah, but correct. But the, the, Malawa, the, ang assumption the, is that human side. when the agency says that we're adopting it, remember, it's not an imposition. Yeah, okay. It's discre Meaning discretionary on their part. They, they've, so, dis they've discussed it with their yes, employees. Yes, uh, pinag-aralan na rin nila yan. Uh -huh. So therefore, when they decide to adopt the scheme, that mm -hmm. means they are ready for it. Right. And uh, and they should know that even if there is a reduced uh, uh, work days, mm -hmm. uh, they they still have to meet the target that they have originally set. So, mm -hmm. hindi dapat magkakaroon ng pagbabago in so far as the productivity is concerned, mm -hmm. uh, in so far as uh, the welfare of the employees. Have you studied that a ten a ten hour work day is still is still a uh, an optimal number of hours for for Let me put it this way, Rod. No, if, if that's doing well in all those agencies that have already adopted it, mas mm -hmm. yung less yung hindi prone sa traffic yung mga nasa yeah. labas ng Metro Manila. So far, the feedback are really encouraging. Mm -hmm. Sampung oras nagtatrabaho yung mga empleyado, and yet they're saying it's good. Okay. Because they have more time with their family. Mm -hmm. If they, if if that works for them, why will it not work for the rest? All right. Great point. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we need to take a short break. More issues about the four-day work week when we return. You're watching Opposing Views. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching Opposing Views. I'm Rod Nepomuceno. Uh, still with us is Attorney Ariel Ronquillo of the Civil Service Commission and the opposing side is Courage President Ferdy Gaitan. Our question, are you in favor of the Civil Service Commission's four-day work week policy? Now, um, we uh, ask them, um, we are aiming for the ASEAN integration mm -hmm. next year, no? So, with, with uh, the, South, the other Southeast Asian countries. Okay. Um, now, most of these countries have a five-day work week. Some, some even have six, no? So, Will a four-day four work week go against this ASEAN integration since you know, other countries obviously work uh, the, the usual five or six, six days? Yeah, uh, it will not go against that. Mm -hmm. It's not really a matter of counting the number of days that they are working. It's, it's really counting the productivity. And mm -hmm. as far as we are concerned, the productive working hours is 40 hours a week. Mm -hmm. We are not reducing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the mandated by loan of 40 hours Yung pa rin ang gagampanan natin. Mm, so, okay. we are still within, uh, still within, within uh, what the ASEAN is, uh, is adapting. Okay, Ferdi, uh, itong uh, ASEAN integration, is this something that uh, you think is an important uh, issue that we should consider? Well, uh, totoo rin naman yun, no? Kasi in, in any environment, hindi mo pwedeng, uh, hindi nga, sabi ko, hindi, we are not islands, no? We, mm. we are integrated into a bigger system. Mm. Um, mabalik na ako, yung sinabi kanina na, mm -hmm. uh, um, nakakatulong ito sa mga employees, but does it really, uh, uh, no? is it really uh, acceptable to the public? Ako, for one, uh, we have two unions, the Senate and Congress, which have been implementing a four-day work week. Mm. Ako dismayado ako kasi minsan ang libre ko lang a Friday to transact with the government agency. Since na lesson ng isang araw, nawawalan yung, uh, yung pagkakataon na makapag-transact ako sa naturang agency. Normally pati, sinabi, hindi, nasasagot yung question eh. Will it, uh, yung productivity uh, na ano ba? Ang, ang sagot lang is that, no, the targets remain the same. But, and the, yun nga yung point. These are not robots. These are, these are not motors mm -hmm. that will run on the same capacity at the start of the day at the end of the day. Yung nga diminishing capacity. And we've observed that uh, in some offices after five, yung ito nga yung Senate at uh, Congress, halos wala ng tao, yung mga tao parang ano na, talagang uh, lupaypay na. And even the public, uh, sometimes don't want to go to the government agency between 5 to 7 because by that time, if they do transact, makakawi sila alas 10 ng gabi. No? Oh, oh, oh. So it doesn't really, extending the number of hours, uh, hindi necessarily 
uh, tapos yung integration pa, yung CN integration. I don't think uh, this will uh, bode well for uh, the concept of uh, improving uh, work life, uh, balance, productivity, mm -hmm. performance, and others. All right. Now, itong compare. Yeah. Yes, um, Asko, do you have okay, Can I rebut that? Sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, kasi yung sinabi na ano, uh, hindi raw nasagot yung tukol sa productivity. Mm -hmm. uh, sinabi ko na na meron ng mga nag-adapt and uh, the, the result has been... Uh, Their productivity very, hasn't changed? It, it hasn't mm -hmm. changed. In fact, the, mm -hmm. the reports are really encouraging. No? Mm -hmm. uh, Would you say saying, they were more productive? It, it's, it's working well for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, they are... They are now uh, in, in that stage where I think they want to adapt that as a permanent system. But, mm -hmm. of course, that's another issue. Ang ibig lang sabihin nun, uh, kung ang pagbabatayan natin ay yung mga agency na nag-implement na. Mm -hmm. Walang problema when it comes to productivity. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga sinabi ko, the target has not been changed. Kasi yun pa rin yung pagtatrabahohan nila. Eh. And if yeah. the people are happy achieving the target, the more that they'll become productive. Yeah. On that point, no? Uh, and this is just a side question. You okay. we're give an option of Monday to Thursday or Tuesday to Friday. Okay. And ang point nga ni Ferdy, minsan, uh, nako, uh, minsan gusto mo pong mag-ayos, let's say, ng lisensya mo or whatever, mm -hmm. and you can't do it during your work hours, and you have to go there at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, late ka na mga kawe. Uh, has there ever been a thought given on, uh, assuming let's say four days, no? na maybe one of those days is Saturday, maybe make the work week Wednesday to Saturday, kasi yung Saturday, at least you can, you can provide services sa mga mga private sector, which are your constituents. Hindi um, oh, naisip yun kasi yeah. ang purpose nga natin dito, paiklain yung work week. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, ang sagot ko naman doon, eh, yung Friday, kung halimbawa ang hindi inadapt yung four-day work week, yung Friday working day pa rin yun eh. Mm -hmm. So, kung halimbawa ang makakapag-transact ka ng Friday, ba't hindi ka pwede mag-transact ng any of the working days? Mm -hmm. If you can really... Uh, no, if, no, uh, if you really so, need it, and then you can find time to, to get what you want from yeah, for example, that particular right government now, agency. No, I just got my passport a few months ago. It took yeah. me like half a day. No? I mean, sure. three, three, four hours yeah. of, my, of my time, of my work time, diba? and I can't do it on a Saturday. Yeah. I'm just bringing that up as a... As a Th that's the point. Because if we don't have a four-day work week scheme, at uh, sinasabi mo, pwede lang ako Friday. Eh, yung Friday work week din yun eh. The Saturday. Uh, I, let's say, Saturday, I, I was saying, uh, what if it's the work week is work week for the government offices? Is there an option for a Wednesday to Saturday work week? For oh, wala, walang, walang option. Wala, walang kasi, option na uh, We confined it to the original ano, work day. Oh, uh, uh, original work day. Okay. okay. Now, what are your thoughts on that, uh, uh, well, Ferdy? Uh, kasi yun nga, yung sinasabi mo, yeah. some, some of the... Private sector, di ba? And yun, yun yung sinaserve ng, mga, ng government, right, di ba? No. Uh, minsan, kailangan nilang kumuha ng lisensya or, mm. or passport or, mm. or cedula or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they can only do it on, the, on the, those weekdays. Uh, tama yun. So, yun yung isang ang argument namin. Na yung disruption ng schedules uh, will also affect the, the public that we serve. No? Mm. Uh, yung prob problem ng hours na op operational yung isang office. Mm -hmm. Then... Uh, Minsan, tama naman siya, kung kailangan mo, upunta mo. Pero minsan, limited ka. Limited yung time uh, Yung oras mo, talagang hindi mo may siksik. So, naghahanap ka lang ng pagkakataon to, to uh, transact with that respective uh, agency. Although, yung point nga, if you extend nga 5 to 7, yung may, may extension 5 to 7, yung those who are working in private sector can now go to those times. Well, yes. um, Mas mga basa yun. Magandang, uh, I think, magandang i-observe yan kung totoo nga yung nangyayari yung 5 to 7, no? Kasi doon sa na-observe namin sa Senate at ibang offices, pag oras na yun, halos wala na. Yung public, talagang pakaunti. Even, even if 10, kakaunti, 10, uh, kakaunti na 10, Even 10 oh, hours sila. Oo, oh, tapos uh, kadalasan okay. nga. Kasi gusto na makauwi eh. Mm -hmm. uh, basyado nang late yung transaction. Mm -hmm. They know that they will be late because of the traffic also. So, mostly, halos wala na. Hinaabangan na rin nila. Oo, oh, wala na. Halos wala right, na rin let's, uh, let's talk about the, the issue on... Uh, yes, uh, ask on. Hindi dapat nangyayari yun. Kasi kung talaga ang work nila hanggang 7 o'clock, wow. may dumating na kliyente, they have to serve yeah, the client. Yeah, because if they don't serve the client, they can be held liable under the anti-red tape act. Ah, okay. Oh. All right. Now, let's talk about savings. This, are, this is another issue, no? Um, mm. and, and I would say another point of discussion. Savings on the part of government, and savings on the part of the employee. Now, uh, we're saying that you're thinking that with having a four-day work week, the government will be able to save because yun nga, yung one day, one day na oper supposed operations, wala. Mm. Okay? Uh, but uh, as Ferdy was mentioning, uh, the productivity is not supposed to change, meaning 40 hours of service pa rin, di ba? So, there will not be any savings in terms of utilities. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think there, there will be some savings on, on utilities and, and other... Uh, incidental so, expenses. Somehow, eh, kasi pag bawas yung isang araw, buong, buong araw, yung buong ahensya, patay ang electricity, 
the other utilities are not functioning. I, I think that will translate to savings. Mm -hmm. Pero yung daily na may extend, kasi mm -hmm. pwedeng gawaan ng, ano yan, ng, ng paraan ng ahensya. Eh. Mm -hmm. There was a time when uh, I think some agencies has adopted a scheme that pagdating ng alas 4 or yeah. alas 5, dapat patay lahat ng air conditioning. Air kasi malamig, malamig kasi malamig na naman. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, they can adapt that in order to, ano, to, mm -hmm. to save. Ang ibig sabihin, this scheme will actually provide the environment where yeah. the agencies will not only promote work-life balance, but also savings for the government. Mm -hmm. Bahala na silang dumiskarte. That's why we, we gave them a blanket authority. Mm -hmm. We gave them the discretion to adapt it or not because mm -hmm. they are in a better position to assess whether is it, they is, are ready to adapt is it. Is it a fair estimation of 20% savings? Uh, um, I think that's a, a fair mm -hmm. estimation. Ferdi, you think it's a fair estimation at 20% yeah. savings on government uh, expenses, on utilities and uh, mm -hmm. incidental you know, expenses? Well, we disagree. Kasi nga, sabi nga natin, if you're operating on a 40-hour work, work Ganun din yan. At tapos, ganun din. Ibig sabihin, yun din ang utilization mo ng utilities and other expenditures. No? So we argued that before and it's uh, falling on deaf ears kasi uh, ewan ko, yung, yung logic is very simple and yet the, the concept of in assert that there will be savings. Sabi ko, ah, sige nga, i-outline natin where will the savings come from. Ako lang, personally, there will be actually savings for the employees. Kasi the only, the, 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 the only savings that he will, be, he will obtain or he or she will obtain is the transportation cost. Mm -hmm. Kasi one day ko malilibre. But other than that, wala na ko nakikita ang ibang uh, savings so on the, the part of... Do you, you concede though that this scheme at least will provide some reprieve or some uh, mm -hmm. lower expense for mga employees? Yun lang, yun lang. Yun, 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 yung yun transportation yun expense uh -huh. lang for one day. Kasi uh -huh. na-lessen na niya. Mm -hmm. And probably binabanggit yung, yung, inis, yung init ang ulo na uh -huh. ipit ka sa Is this one of the considerations also <laughs> that the employees get a uh, bit of savings uh, as well? Uh, yeah, isa uh -huh. yan sa mga ano, mm -hmm. pag-aralan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now in terms of... Uh, is this... Similar to, we, we, this is not the first time we've done this, diba? Uh, mm. We've had compressed work week uh, in 1990. I remember yeah. that. For I, personally, for savings. Yeah, for, for I think it's for electricity, Electricity, right? yes. Yeah, energy, uh, energy crisis. Would mm. you say that the situation now is the same uh, or similar, that we have to adopt this uh, at this point? And uh, I think it was addressed mainly for the construction of the Skyway 3, diba? It, it, you know, now, is, you think this is a temporary thing or is this a permanent thing, you think? It really depends on the outcome mm -hmm. of this. No? Meron yeah. tayong, uh, I think, around uh, one year na mm -hmm. of observation. Mm -hmm. If after that period, it appears na it's, it's okay pala, then uh, uh, siguro uh, we, we can adapt this as a policy for, for the government. Right. No? Um, okay, so we need to take a short break at this point. Uh, please don't go away when we come back the results of our online poll on the issue and the final words from our guests. Please stay tuned. You're watching Opposing Views. Welcome back. This is Opposing Views. I'm Rod Depomoceno. Still with us is Attorney Ariel Ronquillo of the Civil Service Commission and Courage President Ferdi Gaitier. Our question, are you in favor of the Civil Service Commission's four-day workweek policy? Now, um, ASCOM, um, the international labor movements have, have won this eight-hour work each day. You know? So it, it, became, it has become policy. Now. Mm. Employees are supposed to just work um, eight hours. This is the optimum number of hours uh, beyond that it's uh, it should be overtime or it is not encouraged you, you think uh, by doing this uh, by, by doing a 40 work week pero you know, 10 hours per work day is this an attack to it's, laborers rights uh, definitely it's not it's uh, not yeah in the first place we're not imposing it hmm. we're just uh, giving them the discretion hmm. secondly we're not reducing the working hours mm -hmm. uh, it's still 40 hours a week hmm. and uh, uh, hindi yun ang consideration. Yeah. Uh, I think the policy has, uh, has narrated, has stated very well the reasons mm -hmm. why the commission uh, has adopted uh, this policy. So it's very collaborative in a way. You, yeah. you, you're, and, you are and, working with employees. And, uh, and besides, this has been done after consultation. A lot of consultation. So th there's no reason to, mm -hmm. uh, to attack uh, any right. Uh, mm -hmm. especially labor's right for that matter. Right, okay. For the, uh, your thoughts on this, uh, obviously you're representing the government employees. So do you think that this is an attack uh, on, on the, the policy, the eight-hour workday policy? 
Well, we, we believe no? may, uh, may effect ito at may attack sa rights ng workers. If you remember it right, no? kaya meron po tayong Labor Day o May 1. The workers then in uh, say Haymarket Square sa Chicago demanded that the working hours, may imagine that is 16 hours ang workday, they demanded to shorten that. No? Mm -hmm. At kaya nga ito na ipanado yung shorten the 8-hour workday. Kasi hindi nga mga makina, hindi mga motor, hindi, mm -hmm. hindi ano to na in-expect na yung output sa simula ay ganun pa rin at the end. Mantakin mo pati, Mm -hmm. A majority of the hours will be mm -hmm. on the road or on the office because of the commuting to and from the from the, their offices. Mm -hmm. So we believe no, um, na did diminish yung rights sila, mm -hmm. uh, even yung uh, yung potential for uh, for other uh, benefits such as overtime pay. Mm -hmm. Kasi nawawala na rin, kasi mm -hmm. hindi ka overtime. No? Right. Oh, uh, oh. Liban pa dyan, ang isang fear namin, and we, have, we would like to raise this with the, the commissioner, no? uh, assistant commissioner. Apa paano yung mga arawan no, na mga magagawa? Di na mawala ng isang araw sila, especially yung ating mga uh, casual workers. No? Hmm. Bagamat na-extend yung hours, anong effect yan? Uh, nabawasan. Kasi per day ang uh, uh, oh, pag pag oh, per day ang kanilang oh, that, work. That's, that's a good point. No? Uh, ask yeah. me, uh, have you addressed those, yung mga arawan na... Yeah, it na can workers? be arranged in the agency itself. Mm -hmm. no? Remember, ang but binawasan there, natin dito yung araw nga, no? but the hours of work has not been reduced. So there should be at least no diminution of uh, or yeah, lessening of uh, yes, benefits? Yes, uh, because it was not oh. intended to diminish anything. Okay. So yung mga, with respect to rights that may probably be affected, it has to be uh, settled in the level of the agency. Mm. Yeah. Eh, kasi, uh, for, for the uh, point nga ni ASCOM, kung medyo overwhelming naman, from what I'm uh, hearing from ASCOM, is that medyo overwhelming naman na support ng mga employees, shouldn't be something, it shouldn't be something that we should really be worried about. Do you mm -hmm. think? I mean, well, um, ang is, well, for, uh, gusto ko lang correct, no? uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. What I heard was 70 percent, no? 70 percent. Uh, oh, yeah. yun yung isang narinig ko isang si um, uh, director for public Agamata. information. Yeah, Agamata. Uh, Apo. Um, and uh, when she said that, sabi ko, uh, but the problem is sometimes uh, when you make, take a survey, um, sometimes, uh, yun na nga, no? uh, without realizing that, uh, without uh, establishing uh, the basis for such a proposal, kailangan malaman natin talaga anong impact. Sometimes kasi uh, what you want mm. is not really, <laughs> yeah. it's not yeah. really, ano, it's not what you get. Oh. It, it's not uh, going to solve oh. a problem oh. or a, a, ano, right. a quandary that you're facing. So, dapat sabi ko, di tignan rin na kung ano yung by impact. Uh, maganda yung sinabi na ni ASCOM, no? that there are sub several agencies. But I think more extensively, i-check na rin, hindi lamang po yung satisfaction ng, ng empleyado, satisfaction rin ng mamamayan. No? Kasi uh, yes. ma imagine na uh, yung nabanggit ko na, na bigla mo wala isang araw, yeah. ako, ano ko, nainis talaga ako minsan. When I want to transact with Congress, and ako hindi ka nga pala pwede kasi Friday. Mm, yeah. So, the, those opportunities are lost because mm. of the scheduling. No? And now, it will be affecting all government agencies. Yes. Oh. So, I think talagang necessarily dapat aralin comprehensively what do we really want to address the problem of traffic then then make mm. a solution do you think so, uh, ASCOM this is more like a knee jerk reaction I, I i understand that the policy mm -hmm. this policy correct me if i'm wrong is really being implemented in light of the ongoing traffic situation is that yeah correct? that's one of the reasons uh, one of the reasons mm -hmm. what is the main reason for for yeah. implementing the policy right now that's it and mm. uh, the the traffic Mm -hmm. Is the main thing, yeah. Uh, the main thing, mm -hmm. but aside from that, of course, we also consider the work-life balance. So, th was this considered even before traffic yes. has worsened at, at this point? Or? Yeah, uh, that, that's why uh, there were agencies that adopted that even before this scheme was mm. issued by uh, by the commission. Mm. Yung listahan hawak mo, mm. <coughs> karamihan dyan nag-adapt na maski wala pa tong policy. And they had to seek your approval they, first? They have to seek our approval first oh. before they can do that. Mm. Ngayon, ang ginawa lang namin is to provide the environment. Mm. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-seek ng approval, just notify us. We are mm. giving you blanket authority to adapt us, to adapt this, but we will monitor you. But the, the, uh, we will but, monitor, mm. we will get feedback from the public, katulad nga ng paganda yung suggestion ni Ferdi na i-consider din yung situation ng public. Kung meron man sa mga public na apektado dyan sa scheme na yan, they can call us anytime. Yeah. Now, yung so mga, there are some offices mentioned by Ferdi, no, na minsan very vital, no? like the, maybe the part of education or perhaps uh, nga, passport uh, or, or, or driver's license or what, what have you. There are some, like the, for example, MMDA okay. or let's say government offices, uh, government hospitals. Uh, ano yung policy sa mga yan. There are some, uh, lalan, let's say, disaster, yeah. mga disaster, ano, no? Hindi agencies. Sila, hindi sila pwede, tingin ko. Ah, uh, okay. So, there, there are exceptions to, to this? Yeah. Uh, be... The agencies themselves will assess whether 
they are prepared for it or not. So, kung halimbawa, nag-adopt sila na hindi naman pala pwede because of the effect of the scheme to their services, kami mismo magsasabi sa kanila, hindi kayo pwede. So, although it's blanket, if, let's say, an agency comes to you and says, we'd like to have a four-day work week, and feeling mo na it's the type of government service. Because of the nature of their services. Let's say, police. Yeah, we will tell them, hindi pwede. Hindi naman pwede yung walang polis ng Friday. Ha? Hindi pwede? Ah, sabihin namin, dapat, ano... Armed forces. Armed forces... Hindi pwede. Oh, hindi pwede. So... Yeah, that's the beauty of this. This is not an imposition. Okay. And this is not, ano... But yun nga, but let's say the police, since it's a blanket authority, the police can basically say, well, we want a 4-day work week. Remember, there is a period before they implement that. They will give us a notice. Yeah. And uh, within that period, they'll be uh, making dissemination of their schedule. So, so in other words, may veto power ang CSE? Yes, but um, if within that period, we, we already feel that that agency is not in a position to adopt this because of the effect hmm. to the public, right then and there, we will tell them you cannot implement. Off the bat, are there offices that you feel that should not have a four-day work? Well, agencies like that, no? uh, agencies which are rendering vital services to to the public, such as the police, those who are involved hospitals, in health, hospitals, oh, even yeah. I think uh, those who are involved in social oh. work. Yeah. That's right. Mga yeah. uh, bumbero, fire, fire, <laughs> fire, <laughs> fire, <laughs> You cannot oh, say you cannot go there work. because <laughs> it's a Friday. <laughs> so, so, that's a yeah. <laughs> excuse the four-day work. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah that, oh. it, it's really depend on the situation. Mm -hmm. Why just now? Uh, ask them, why did you just implement it? No, there's obviously the problem of it, traffic. It's available even before because even that power is given to us by law. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang, because nga of the reported uh, worsening traffic condition as mm -hmm. a result of this major infrastructure, mm -hmm. the Commission said, uh, huwag na natin pahirapan, let's give them blanket authority. Mm -hmm. I-monitor na lang natin. Monitor na natin. Okay, uh -huh. so we have just enough time no, for, for final words. Uh, maybe we'll start off with you, uh, Ferdy. Um, final words to our, our viewers who, who might be you know, mulling this over and, and thinking about what, they, what position they should take. Mm -hmm. Uh, first and foremost, we believe the, this will not, the four-day work week or compressed work week, will not affect the, the problem of traffic that many Filipinos here in Metro Manila are now facing. No? Uh, tingin natin na uh, hindi nito nasasagot yung batay ang problema na uh, bunga ng traffic na mismanagement, mm -hmm. yung problem ng napakarami vehicles sa kalsada, yung flow na napakulo, limited space, limited roads, etc. Uh, yung yung four day work week uh, sa sin na sinasabing may impact nakita namin napakaliit o halos walang impact doon sa problema na traffic at hand so we believe na hindi nakakatulong itong four day work week mm. all right thank you very much uh, Ferdy Gaita now uh, sir ask com uh, Ariel uh, yeah, your so final words on sa uh, this pong uh, mga kababayan uh, wag po tayong mabahala at uh, kabahan dito ang uh, gusto lang po ng civil service commission ay mag-provide ng environment where agencies uh, can decide uh, whether to adopt the scheme or not. Mm -hmm. Para sa ganun, sila mismo uh, malalaman nila kung makakatulong ba sa publiko, makakatulong ba sa kanilang sariling mga empleyado, o makakatulong ba ito sa pagpapagaan ng trapiko natin uh, sa Metro Manila. But uh, one thing that I can guarantee is that the Civil Service Commission will not allow uh, the diminution of the quality of service that government agencies will deliver to the public. Hmm. We will continue to monitor and that if ever there is any indication that the adoption of this scheme is not good for the public, then we will tell the agencies to stop. Right. So we will always be there to ensure that public service delivery will always be uh, 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 for the citizens, uh, will always be there when needed by our people. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Assistant Commissioner uh, Ariel uh, uh, Ronquillo. Uh, thank you to our guests. Again, Civil Service uh, Commissioner Assistant, uh, Assistant Commissioner, uh, Attorney Ariel Ronquillo and the President of the Confederation for Unity and Advancement of Government Employees or Courage, Ferdy Gaite. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Now, let's see the results of our online poll. We ask you, are you in favor of the Civil Service Commission's four-day workweek policy? Those who answered yes, 60%. Those who answered no, 40%. And that's our opposing views for tonight. Tune in again next week for another bold and engaging discussion of today's most relevant issues. I'm Rod Pumuseno. Good night, God bless, happy weekend.